Welcome to video 9.10c, trigonometry with an isosceles triangle. Here's example three. Find the altitude to base BC, and then find the measure of angle A in this triangle. All right, so for the altitude, first what we'll do is we'll draw it. And you need to remember this, it comes up time and time again. Whenever you have an isosceles triangle and you draw an altitude from the vertex angle, it does two things. It bisects the opposite side and it bisects the vertex angle. So these two angles are congruent and if this big side was 8, then the side over here is 4. Okay, well now I could just simply use the Pythagorean theorem. I'll call this um, x over here to find that height. All right, so leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. X squared plus four squared equals 10 squared. X squared plus 16 equals 100. X squared equals 84. X equals, I'll just take the positive square root, the square root of 84, which is the same thing as the square root of four times the square root of 21. So X equals two radical 21. So I'll call that the altitude. Okay, uh, part two, find the measure of angle A. Again, to use trigonometry for right now, you need right triangles. We have a right triangle. So what I'll do is I'll find the measure of this angle using Sokotoa, and then once I find that, I'll just double it to find the measure of angle A. All right, so for right now, I'll just call that angle theta. All right, so, uh, a side I know, a side I know, let's label this. This is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite. Let me write Sokotoa. Sokotoa. So somebody that has an O and an H, that's gonna be sine. So that's how I know to use the sine function as opposed to cosine or tangent. So I'll write my equation. The sine of angle theta equals opposite over um, hypotenuse. I could reduce that to 2 over 5 if I wanted to. And then what undoes sine? Inverse sine. So theta will be sine inverse of 2 over 5. I'll just plug that in my calculator. Second sine inverse 2 divided by 5. 23. 5, 7 degrees, and then angle A is going to be 2 times 23.57, let's multiply that by 2 and get about 47.2, so angle A is about 47.2 degrees. So there you have it how to use trigonometry in conjunction with an isosceles triangle.